Hi kids, Heidi here. This is take two. Yeah, I had a really good intro. Didn't waste too much time, but it was informative and slightly amusing. And then I discovered that there was a large thread lint cluster on a part of my body that, well, it would have been distracting to say the least. And it also looked a a little bit like a squished giant spider of the poisonous variety. So I had to stop and remove that. I was a little relieved to find out it wasn't a dead spider. So what I said in the first part was, this will be quick, hopefully. And I wondered, does that make you feel better about it? If it's quick or do you feel a little sad knowing that it'll be quick? Of course, that remains to be seen if it'll be quick because I haven't showed up yet. Hi kids, Heidi here. Heidi from the future. You can tell I'm in the future because I'm wearing a hat. I just had a couple comments on what you're about to see, which is that it was painful and awkward to make a video today. Not that you care, but the most important information is that in the big blank space that I intentionally left for putting words in, I had struggled. Anyway, I did put a few words in. So if you tend to watch my YouTube videos without actually looking at them, then you'll miss them because the words are quiet. But the, what the words are is a couple of items I actually found out were worth a lot more than I expected. That's all I'm gonna say. Watch the video, look for the silent words that are totally in the wrong place. So if that's not helpful, I don't know what you want from me. Have a great day. I went to Goodwill yesterday. It was senior day, so I got 20% off. I also went to the next door Goodwill outlet or the bins um, and spent about an hour there, but only $10. But so that's in that bag and the Goodwill stuff is over there. I'm going to show you that. And if I have time, I'll show you that. So let's get moving again. 20% off. Here is a Bagalini bag. Crossbody. If you're familiar with Bagalini, you know they're very lightweight. Nylon. Travelers love them. Um, lots of zippers and compartments, and this one's in great shape. It has some threads I need to snip off, but no threads that are like mean that it's falling apart. And purses are three dollars at my store, so I paid about I'll take sixty cents, two dollars and forty cents for this purse. So. Bagulini usually sells quickly if I price it right, and this one is clean and in great condition. So that was fun to find. This, I went, I spent a lot of time in dresses and skirts yesterday. I'm not sure why. I think one thing in dresses caught my eye and then I realized that they were all hanging at a really comfortable height to look through them. And then once I found one or two, I thought, well, I better keep looking. But this is totally out of season, but it's a beautiful paisley maxi skirt, kind of a A-line. And it's old Talbots, vintage Talbots, so that doesn't matter. But it's, am I gonna have the hiccups? It's silk and wool blend. And I just thought that somebody's gonna want that next fall and winter, right? Skirts are $5, so $4 with my discount. I, I've really been trying so hard to stay in season. I mean, when I'm sourcing, I'll, I'll buy anything I come across if it's a good deal. And I'll list everything year round. And of course you can sell everything year round. I sold a cashmere sweater last week. But I try to focus on what's in season and what is higher value because spring and summer stuff is lower value with shorts and sleeveless tops. So I looked in dresses yesterday and I looked in skirts and I looked in long sleeve tops. Right now there's no separate sweater section because they don't have that many sweaters out. So it's long sleeves and short sleeves. And I'm focusing on long sleeves thinking, you know, if you can find a long sleeve linen shirt or the random piece of smart, well, Anyway, we'll see how well my strategy pays off. But I'm not doing very well on keeping this in the short department. Maybe that's just not my thing. Short. Okay. What's this? It's so fun because I've already forgotten what I got. Oh, I'm going to have to do some research here. Norma Kamali. 
And she was, Sonoma Kamali, it was one of those brands I thought, oh, that was probably a huge designer at one point, and then now has gotten diluted, as they say, by, um, you know, licensing their brand or selling it off, et cetera, et cetera. Things like White Stag, which now we go, my mother used to save up for White Stag because she just loved their beautiful separates. And they were not, they weren't designer, but they weren't inexpensive. And she would, you know, like she was going to a wedding or someone's big party, she would save up so she could go to the local ladies dress shop and buy White Stag. So stuff like that gets diluted. And I thought Norma Kamali was one of those brands. And then when I looked it up, there were Norma Kamali dresses, which of which this is one. It's Jersey knit and it's very interesting. It's sleeveless and there's this bow thing at the back, but there's also some holes that aren't being used. So what I think it is, is a fabulous, beautiful drape front bodice, which goes around the back and then comes around the front and ties. And many Norma Kamali little black dresses, jersey knits were going for 35 to $60. So if I get this on my dress form correctly, I think it's a winner. And you can, a sleeveless black dress is something somebody wants year round. Is okay, now we're we're going into oh yes, yes, this is a dress. And um it's cute. Tuck uh, pin tucks on the front. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's what that's called when these little pleats are all in a row, they're called pin tucks. And um it's a dress with palm leaves all over it. And it is 55% linen. And the rest of it is something called Ecovero. I have never heard of a fabric called Ecovero. I'm gonna have to look it up. But here's why I was excited to find it. It's Fairy. And I have never found that brand. It's a um, high quality outdoor brand. And perhaps the dresses aren't um, as fabulous as a pair of pants or something. I don't know, I've never found Fairy. I just know it's a good brand. And so I went, hmm, for $4, I'm gonna buy that and put it in my, I put it in my cart. So we'll look that up at some point. It's got a little cap sleeve and uh, very soft and pretty. And it's half Eco Vera. Have you ever heard of that fabric? It's, you know, made in a factory somewhere, but it's got the name Eco in it. So how bad could it be? Okay, we have another dress from a brand I'd never heard of before, Hartford. And they appear to use vanity sizing because this is a three. And it is a button. Why didn't I button it ahead of time so I could show it to you? I think that YouTube requires a lot more planning than I'm willing to give it. Can you take my word for it that it is a shirt dress? The button's all the way down the front. Well, how, how attractive is this? You get the idea. Close your eyes and use your imagination. Hartford, it had an intriguing tag and it felt like it was made of linen. And I looked and sure enough, it is 100% linen. So I looked up the brand Hartford. Look, they even have a cute little embroidered monogram on the back. And um, yes, that was a winner. There weren't a lot available and there weren't a lot sold, but those that were, I think they were like $40, but a linen shirt dress, even if the brand was nothing, I can sell that. Here's another dress. And this one that was the print that got me, which made me look it up. It is, again, uh, this is a jersey knit, but it's kind of lightweight and very stretchy. Isn't that an amazing print? Sleeveless dress, Jude Connolly. And this was a brand that I know I had looked up before and couldn't remember what my decision was. But this time my decision was Yes, I'll get that. Great summer dress. Um, really nice for travel or um, you could wear that over a swimming suit or you could really dress it up and um, just a really versatile piece. What's this? This is so much fun because I've totally forgotten everything. Oh, this is a pair of pants, pure Jill. I saw quite a bit of J Jill. 
I avoid things like very plain knit tops. These are 55% linen and the rest is viscose. They are elastic waist in the back, a tie in the front. They're wide leg cropped pants, very wide leg. But look, they've got this extra drapey business. So I guess they look like wrap pants. And I mean that with a W wrap pants, not R-A-P pants. Oh my God, did I almost start rapping? That was more like beatboxing, wasn't it? God, that's gonna have to go. Get your editing finger out, Heidi. So anyway, this is the perfect log and look, artsy, coastal grandma kind of wrap pants. Don't get me started. What's next? Oh, I am just whizzing a lot. Whizzing, yeah. So this is T by Alexander Wang, which T, I suppose it must be a diffusion line, but, and it's just a sweatshirt. But look at this, it's cropped and it ties in the back at the waist. Well, at the midriff, long sleeve sweatshirt. I was pretty surprised when I looked up T. Alexander Wang sweatshirts that I definitely can get like 30. I might even go for more. I like to be daring in my pricing sometimes. Other times I just put $16 on it and off it goes. This was a size four, which always kind of makes me hesitant because to be honest, smaller sizes sell slower for me, but it had so many other things I liked. I hear a lot of people are calling them factors now, um, like the brand and the price and the style and the condition, right? And the fabric. So this is Garnet Hill. It's a little A-line skirt that's just covered in roughly things and it's 100% silk. So what do you think? Would you have gotten that even though it's a size four? For about $4. Garnet Hill always gets a lot of views because I think some people just love their stuff and are hunting for it. We have home goods. I have sold pillows and pillow covers and um, I sold a curtain once by Garnet Hill and a sheet. So yeah, yeah, I'm happy I got that even if it is a four. Little people. I'm sorry, thin people, small people, people of a, people of a lower size range. Oh, Heidi, shut up. Here is a dress that is cute. Well, no, yeah, it's a mini, it's a mini dress, clearly. There's the bottom. And it um, buttons up the front, but it buttons with, hmm, can you see? There we go, loops and buttons. So it would be very tedious but um, kind of cottage core. It's a dark floral, kind of a ditzy print with a little elastic sleeve. Actually, that's more like, yeah, the sleeves are smocked at the end. That's cute. And the brand is Madewell. I have to admit, I've never seen a Madewell dress before, but so it's kind of a baby doll style, but it's got a scoop neck and a ruffle around the collar. Cute, huh? I'm so, this is more dresses than I have bought in a year, I bet. Here, this is not a dress. We will digress for a moment. Um, I found, this was the third Lacoste piece I found yesterday. I found two at the bins, but they were destroyed. So I did not get them. But um, there's the tag. And Lacoste is one of those that gets um, duped but there are ways to examine the little um, sewn on patch of the crocodile. And the, um, I believe I'm correct now. I'll probably look it up and find out this is fake. If it's embroidered directly on the fabric, it's not Lacoste. Lacoste has an embroidered patch that is sewn on and you can't see anything on the inside. Does that make sense? If, it, if you can see thread all over the back, I think it's fake. I'm gonna have to look it up and I'll insert a little, some words here, like this is real or this is fake when I'm editing, okay? But anyway, here's the here's the crocodile patch on the one that I got. Heidi, what is it? Please tell us what you got. If it's not a polo shirt, it's not. It's a hooded sweatshirt with some great little stripes down the sleeve and uh, pockets. It's full zip sweatshirt. 
And admittedly, I did not look it up. I just thought that's Lacoste and it's in great shape. So it'll sell. I wonder how much for. Oh, maybe I'll put that number here too. When I put, well, if it's fake, it'll be a very small number. But if it's real, then maybe it'll be a really nice number. And I'll put that in and let you know what I discovered. The pile is getting very small. I think we're going to have to, oh, I'm approaching 15 minutes. That was my goal. I might have to save the bins for another day. This dress is Lungo Larno. Lungo Larno. Made in Italy. I have sold this before. It's usually linen. And this one doesn't have its fabric tag. But I know linen when I feel it. So I'm just going to say it's linen. It is the cutest little um, uh, shift dress, I guess, sleeveless. And it has two panels that are covered with clear sequins. See the sequins? So linen in between, a little keyhole back, and just a sleeveless, very easy summer dress. So cute. Uh, I forget how much I sold my other, I've had that brand once in the past, and I think it sold for a nice price, so we'll call it 25 or 30. I don't remember. Look it up. This one I just went on and on and on about, because the tag, is M Mac, and the way it's sewn on reminded me of cut loose, which is kind of like it looks kind of like they didn't do a good job putting on the label. You know what I mean? Just really heavy thread, and it starts at one end and doesn't finish at the other end. And cut loose does that frequently, but I always get cut loose, and it always sells. So M Mac I had never found, and then I looked up this dress, and they have a bunch of dresses in solid cut this buttons. Yeah, buttons all the way down. It's um, kind of a cotton twill, but it also feels kind of nitty. It's very confusing. I'm sure it's cotton. This garment has been sewn and inspected by Julie Gonzalez to ensure the highest quality. So that was intriguing. It's a 100% cotton made in USA. And I was like, wow, that's in so interesting. So anyway, long story short, they do a bunch of um, interesting prints on cotton and like red or blue or black. And um, this is one is called the fish print. And other people have sold this dress for 40 or $50. So we'll see how mine is. It's an XL. So we'll see how much competition I have. Because there were a bunch that were for sale in the same print. So I have to be in the competitive price range. I did it. I got to 17 minutes. That's pretty short for Heidi. So what did you think? Oh, I just found one more thing. Oh, dang. It's not going to be short after all. But I'm going to save the bins for another day. That will be intriguing. So this is vintage. I have tried to swear off vintage, but I just can't. Here's the, here's the label. It says... Serbin of Florida, designed by Muriel Ryan. So when I investigated, I come to find out this dress is probably from the 70s. And that print, I would have to agree, it could be from earlier. It is the wild paisley in pink and turquoise. It has tiered ruffles on the sleeve. And then it is... Um, knee length, I would say, and at the hem, sorry, the hem is coming down, so I have to fix it, but I think, here's what happened, someone else hemmed it with, um, they put this lacy seam binding on the edge, which makes a nice finish for a hem, I remember, I remember doing that when I was sewing clothes back years ago, if you just sew this on with, this lacy seam binding, sew it on by machine, then it's very easy to do the blind stitch catching the lace edges. And somebody hemmed this with um, this lace binding and they did kind of a crappy job. So what I'm gonna do is investigate and make it better, but I will probably leave it where it is, if that makes sense. I'll just do a better job. So anyway, dress from the 70s in this wild print, it zips up the back, ruffled sleeves, I'm not going, I, don't, I hate sitting on my vintage, even though I think it's worth a lot. Um, 
I'm probably not going to go for the 50 or 60 that other people were asking. I'll do something more reasonable. But very cute, isn't it? Does it have a size? Yeah, the size is gone. So I will measure it and I will call it like small, medium, something like that. I won't put a numbered size on it. Yeah, here's the size tag. That's been destroyed. So what do you think of my vintage dress? Would you have picked that up for, for uh, $5 is what I paid. That is the end. Thank you so much. I had a great time as always. Um, please leave a comment or a thumbs up or tell your friends. I hope you enjoyed my haul. Have a great day. Bye-bye.